Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Disney Frozen 2 set, which is Anna's Canoe Expedition. Now this is a four plus junior set with 108 pieces, too many figures, and it retails for $20 in the United States. I legally purchased this early from the Learning Express toy store. They had it on shelves. I got it, I'm reviewing it. Let's take a look at those mini dolls. The Anna mini figure of this set is also in the Treehouse set, so it's not exactly exclusive, though this is a much cheaper set than that one. I really like this new version of Anna with this nice new hair piece. It looks like they made specifically for her. And of course that fits on regular Lego minifigures, though it is rubber, so I don't like it so much compared to the regular plastic hair pieces. I do like the colors on this outfit with that nice kind of bronze to it. I don't know if that's the right coloring for it. Uh, this black and even some yellow near the torso for like an undershirt. It's all very interesting. Also, these legs right here are new for mini dolls where they have the dress and then their legs popping out. Really like that. Also like this cape right here, which unlike the new Star Wars sets, they do use this new material. I like this so much better than that uh, material they have. That's the older material that's a lot harder to maneuver because it gives it such an easier way to just maneuver this in and look at the back or whatever, even if she doesn't have any back torso printing. Speaking of great new versions of existing Frozen characters, I love the new Olaf. Now, he also comes in a few of the more expensive sets. It might be that treehouse as well, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the cheapest way to get him, at least not like a buildable version of him, but this new minifigure version. Love the body piece. That body piece is awesome. It's actually just one piece, so these arms are attached to it, a lot like many doll arms. But what I really like about it is it has a minifigure uh, neck attachment. So you can use that to just put minifigure heads or whatever on there. So I can't wait to see the Lego community <laughs> make some crazy combinations here, like this little snow trooper I got going on. Now, if you're wondering, the head, which I'm gonna put back on right now, is actually, I think the same piece they've used for a while, which I think had a minifigure connection. So that's not really anything new but uh, they do use that unicorn horn piece in orange for the carrot nose. Even though this is a $20 set and a junior set, there's a lot going on here. So first we're gonna take a look at the main play set. So for this main play set build, there's lots of interesting printed pieces. For example, this little print right here is quite awesome. And right in front of that is a pretty cute little seesaw build where you could stick the minifigures on these two by two jumpers and push it from side to side, which works really well. I love this print at the back of that little print and seesaw we were looking at, which can be used for like a painting or whatever. It's printed on a panel, but yeah, very useful. And I can see a lot of mock building. I just wanted to get this set for the various cool pieces inside like this branch piece in yellow. I haven't seen that piece in that color before, but maybe it was in elves or something like that. And at the top here, there's also this leaf piece in orange, which I think I've seen in that color before, but still very nice to get two of those in this set. Another very nice print are these riverbed pieces. I like that a lot with the little, I guess, rocks in there and the sparkles and everything. And there's one on this side as well. Also this branch in pink, which I know isn't new, but still very nice to get. Another one of those orange leaf pieces. And even a little slide design going on here, which you could use to put some of the mini dolls in the set down the slide. Let's take Olaf and just make him go straight into the river, which, come on, Olaf, you could do this. You could do this, come on, come on. There you go, and he slid off anyways. And actually that riverbed is perfect to put the canoe build, and the canoe build has a nice printed piece as well, right under the seating area. It's a two by three with a snowflake on it. You also got another one of those seating pieces. Nice one by twos in that color. And at the back, they use one of these Chima crystal set pieces, right? Am I wrong that that was a Chima piece? And also this new lantern piece, or at least newish, it was introduced last year. Oh, and I almost forgot this little side build here, which does have two more copies of those great recolors of the foliage pieces. And that fits the little rabbit there, which the rabbit itself might be a new design. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is though. But that's it for the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the phone verdict. The box makes it clear this is a four plus set, but I still really like this border going on. And also I like the artwork at the back. Actually it's missing here. Oops. There's supposed to be artwork of 
Elsa and Anna in Lego form at the back of these. Like this one right here, you can see has that artwork and that's really cool. I kind of wish they would put that at the front though instead of having just the CG versions of the characters. And the instructions have an ad for the other sets right at the end. So overall, y'all are probably gonna hate me in the comments, but out of all the sets I reviewed this week, this is probably the best set. This is the only one that feels like it's really worth the money, that it feels like something new. It feels like it has great pieces. It feels like it's a great value. All these new Disney movie sets or whatever, I'm not a Disney hater, but gosh darn, they are overpriced. This is only $20 and they give you more than enough for $20. Don't look at the piece count, whatever, it's a junior set. What they give you in here, they give you a playset build, a side playset build, a vehicle build, and it's a substantial playset. Like, you got a lot going on here. And when I say a lot, I really love the pieces of this set. Love this print, love this print, love this print right here. Love the recolors of some of these pieces. Now, not all are exclusive, but they're all just really colorful and all packed into a very cheap $20 set. You even get two variants of mini dolls. Well, not exclusive. I wish they would have been exclusive because, you know, I like exclusive minifigures or whatever. There are much cheaper ways to get these versions. And I really like that new Olaf. Like, that's an awesome build. The new Anna also has a really nice new hair piece and everything that could be used outside of this setting. So, yeah, I actually highly recommend this set, like, for all ages. If you don't like Frozen and you're a mock builder, you're probably going to want this for the pieces. And if you do like Frozen, look at that. You could get a lot of cool things in a cheap set. I'd rate this one an A. Like I said, probably the best set I reviewed this week. Anyways, what do you guys think? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.